Good morning, I'm Sunitra Chaudhary, political editor of the Hindustan Times, bringing you all that you need to know about COVID-19 on Tuesday, the 21st of July. First up, a look at the numbers. In just the last 24 hours, there have been 36,831 new cases. The total number of those who have died in India from the coronavirus stands at 28,081. With these rising numbers, our top story is a source of major good news. It is that the results of Oxford's vaccine trials have been published in Lancet and it shows promising results. It shows that the vaccine, which is AstraZeneca's vaccine, was found to be safe and also prompts a safe immune response in the thousand and more people that it has been tested on. It is now the front runner among all the vaccine candidates that are being tried all over the world. Of course, now world trials have to be conducted. It is already on in various parts of the world like Brazil and South Africa. And they say the next thing to do is just up those trials. But already these initial results which were published in Lancet have brought good news for all those who are waiting for the vaccine across the world. Oxford's vaccine makers say that it will be developed by the year end. But India Serum Institute, which has tied up with the Oxford vaccine, say that they are going to start manufacturing next month. They also say that they are going to have a billion doses ready in just a year. So that is the good news which everyone's looking forward to. In fact, that's not the only one. China's vaccine candidate, which has been developed by the military, has also shown promising results. It has been tested on more than 500 subjects and they say that it is very, very promising. Speaking of vaccines, India's vaccine candidate, the one which is being developed jointly with the Indian Council of Medical Research and Bharat Biotech, they are recruiting human volunteers this week they are looking to do the vaccine trials near the AIMS area. So in case there is any kind of reaction that they are able to bring them into the hospital soon, AIMS is going to be one of the 12 centers that is going to be doing these human trials. And they are very, very confident about the Bharat Biotech vaccine as well. So lots of good news and hopeful news coming in about vaccines from across the country and here in India. Well, speaking of hopeful news, Delhi, which has been one of the biggest hotspots across the country, is now showing promising results when it comes to corona management. In fact, on Monday, it only reported 954 new cases. Now, there's a rider over there over the weekend. The testing is much less as compared to the daily testing of about 20,000. Only about 11,000 or so is done over the weekend. And that's why the lower numbers could be because of that. But Delhi has otherwise seen a downward trend of new cases. And this 954 is the lowest since the 1st of June. And if you don't want to go by the new cases because of the lower testing, we can also look at the number of active cases that has also gone down from the 28,000 it was at the end of June to just 15,000 active cases. So people being careful and the management of Corona in the capital seems to be paying off. And finally, speaking about the capital, Delhi's health minister, Satyendra Jain, who was suffering from the coronavirus, is fully recovered. He was back at work and in his office on Monday. Speaking with the Hindustan Times, he said the key to his recovery was the fact that he never gave up. He was mentally strong. He also said that pranayam, which is the yoga breathing technique, really helped him as well. So read that interview in the paper. You can also look at all the news and stories on hindustantimes.com.